Greetings, Poke fans! Michael here, and welcome to episode 2 of my Pokemon Uranium playthrough. My very first journey through the banned Pokemon fan game. If you have been enjoying the series, and by that I mean if you enjoyed last episode and you foresee yourself enjoying this one, don't forget to drop a like, make sure to answer the comment question, and make sure you watch the last episode if you missed it, so you know what the boot is going on! Also, if you didn't already, don't forget to sign up for the Elgato HD60S capture card giveaway uh, set up by my lovely sponsor, Elgato. Link is in the description. Um, but now that I've gotten that intro stuff out of the way, we're going to go meet Professor Coolio and uh, really annoying Tiny Bro. Um, hey there, Michael. Now that you and Theo are here, it's time to begin your first lesson as a Pokemon trainer and a field research aide. Now, watch closely. Wild Pokemon, as you probably already know, inhabit tall grass. Is this a Pokemon fan game and they really don't give us the option to skip the, the capture tutorial? It's a fan game. They're supposed to know that... <sighs> That's not the only place. You can also find them in caves and water. Okay, 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 I know. Still, tall grass is going to be your best bet for finding new Pokemon. Simply take a few steps and... Timon! Chin Monk. Am I saying that correctly? They're very common around here. Hasn't noticed me yet, so now's my chance. Go! Alatux! This little guy was the other starter Pokemon you could have received. I think he's taking a shine to me, and I rather like him too, so I'm gonna keep him. Now, the next step is to weaken the enemy Pokemon to make it easier to catch. Alatux, use tackle! Oh, an overworld. Okay. Now I'm speaking, now's my chance to catch it. Pokeball Go. Alright, an overworld capture tutorial. Weird. And that's how it's done. Now, Gin Monk are fairly easy, but you're sure to encounter Pokemon that are a lot harder to capture. For those, you might need to inflict them with status effects or use a special Pokeball. Ah, uh, but I'm sure you'll get the hang of it before too long. Michael, Theo, these are for you. Free Pokeballs! Oh, the Pokedex. Oh. The Pokedex is an encyclopedia that will automatically update itself whenever you encounter or catch a new Pokemon. It's very important for my research, so make sure... <laughs> I like the random, like, just goes to the next line. Uh, sure to fill it out as much as possible. Also, I want you to have these. There's the Pokeballs. I was wondering when those would be arriving. Pokeballs are necessary for catching Pokemon, of course. Once that... Thing the kid always say, gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. That is what the kids always say. <laughs> Woo! All right, this guy clearly watches my channel, and I like that because that's my channel is definitely where that phrase originated from. Uh, if you run out, you can pick up some more at any Pokemart. Moki Town doesn't have one of those, but there's one in Kevlar Town. Kevlar, like bulletproof material on the other side of Route 1. So with that said, your lesson's now over. Oh, but you do have Pokepods, right? Don't you? Here, let me input my number. You can give me a call anytime, and I'll take a look at how your Pokedex is coming along. If you do a good job collecting many different kinds of Pokemon, I might even have special rewards for you. That said, I'm going back to my lab. Best of luck on your journeys, both of you. Ah, early game, where I'm gonna have to do a lot of layout editing, because I'm definitely gonna just get a bunch of things ended up in the party. Michael, I don't care that you got the stronger starter, I'm still gonna be the best trainer ever! I'll catch tons of Pokémon and will win every battle! You just waited, sir! <laughs> Alright, well, here we go. Man, this is like league music on Route 1. I dig it. Makes us feel real. What a beautiful waterfall. Potion! Um, we should encounter something. Whoa, what is that? Burby! Burberry! Mm. All right, well... Maybe we should try and catch this thing. It's probably normal flying. What was that? Was that growl? Accuracy. Oh. 
You know, we could probably catch this thing with like a... Oh, wrong button. We can probably catch this thing without weakening it more. Camera work is exquisite! Aha! I knew it. Bobby! <laughs> Eden bird Pokemon. It defends itself by dazzling opponents by flashing its brightly colored plumage. They are known for their elaborate mating dances. Interesting. Sure, we'll name you, um... We'll name you Bubbera. Hmm. <laughs> I like, it's weird, like, just because I don't know what to expect, I'm like, how do I decide what Pokemon I want to use and stuff, you know? Oh, you're a real trainer. I thought you were just going to be some rando. All right, Lass! Lass! Lynette would like to battle. Outen! That's the flying cat! I just noticed that cry, and that is awesome. Stab should do a lot. Yeah, it does do a lot. We win. Unless this... Even if it crits, it won't KO. Yeah. Meow, meow, meow. Did it name? Anyone could be a trainer, but some people definitely seem more suited to... Yeah, okay, whatever. Should I, like... Oh, I keep hitting the wrong freaking button. I'm definitely used to, like, the normal Pokemon game scheme, where, like... The cancel button is the same as the run button. Not... The cancel button is the same as the menu button. <laughs> I mean, Insurgence was like that, but I've also, like, I recorded a bunch of the Metronome Nuzlocke with John yesterday. So... I've been playing your Wii Tennis. It feels good to get moving. Good for you, Auntie! I like how she's like, it's been quiet without you around. Been gone for five minutes! <laughs> Alright, but let's, uh... Can I actually progress this way? Oh yeah, I can, there's a bridge. Which way do I go? All right, well. Guess we're battling this girl. School kid! Tath. All right, now we gotta look at the, the. We get a good look at the, the Rattata of this game. Don't tackle me, that's so rude. Fight! Ember again! Uh -huh. Da -da. Oh, so close. Oh, Bobby! Cry is awesome. One thing I hate about early game is just how much damage the other, like, random Pokemon can do to you, you know? And so you, like, need to go back and heal a lot, because it's like, you don't want to use your only potions, you know, but it's like, you also don't want to go into battle with that low of HP, you know what I mean? And, like, part of me is like, oh, should I edit out me going back to the Pokemon Center? I guess I will. I'll edit. I'll, I'll definitely edit this out, you know, because there's just nothing interesting going on right now, you know? It's just me chatting with you guys, having a great time as I go back and, you know, chat with my auntie, but that's not interesting, so I'm definitely gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna cut this out, you know? Like, there's no point in this being in the video, you know? Like, I want to make interesting, like, content for you guys, you know? I want to make it, like... I'm willing to put in the extra effort to, like, cut a bunch of unnecessary stuff out of the video, you know? That's what I'm willing to do. And that's what I'm going to do, so that's what I'm gonna cut out. And we're back! I'm not gonna cut any of that out. <laughs> Whoa, what is that? Cub bug? A bear bug? I'm gonna kill it for fun. And that sounded dark. <laughs> like, part of me, like, wants to catch these Pokemon, but also part of me is, like, 
Am I really gonna have a permanent team member that I catch on Route 1? Probably not. What's in this house? Oh, wow. I am a fisherman. These ponds next to my house have a wide variety of Pokemon. If you prove you are strong, I might give you an old fishing rod. Uh, okay, so we have to get a gym badge before he gives me a fishing rod. It's good living between Kevlar and Mokitown. So it seems the next town will not have a... Did you know this river is populated mainly by Fortog? They're poisonous Pokemon I carry antidotes if I were you. All right, seems valuable information. It's weird that, uh, are there two different paths, like, on the two different sides of the river? Should probably battle this Bug Keeper. I mean, I have the fire type, so... Bug Catcher Flood. This guy's name is Flood? I like that my guy's wearing shorts, you know? They're comfy and they're easy to wear. And it's realistic. I'd wear shorts everywhere if I was walking around getting sweaty every day. Heck, I don't even walk around and get sweaty every day. I still wear shorts every day. I also live in Houston, Texas, so that take that with a grain of sweat. Because I definitely do. Alright, Kabug goes down. Yay, Blue! Oh, that was totally wicked! Rock smash. I really feel like I'm missing something. Oh! Don't run away from me! Alright, alright. Relax. We could battle again, weird nerd. Fortog! That was Totodile's cry. <laughs> is this thing poison or is it poison water? Ooh, it's poison water. All right, didn't poison. Okay, sweet. Oh, crit, nice. Please don't poison me, I don't have any antidotes. KO this thing, we're gonna walk through that tree gate, and we're gonna go straight to what I assume is the Pokemon Center in the next town. Oh, crackers, I lost. Wanna trade Pokepod numbers? I'll... No. Oh. Well, that was considerate to game developers. Appreciate you. And you get her outside of battle. Well, we're here, so it's fine. What happens if your last Pokemon dies to... Oh, okay, they, they did it like... Was it Gen 4 where they started that? Is this being your first time seeing a Pokemon Center? All right. Okay. Why are they tutoring me, guys? It's a fan game. You're supposed to realize the people playing fan games. Twitch's PC? Twitch? Like, live streaming? That's who owns the PC? It's kind of funny. <laughs> Up here we have the Tandor Network. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right! I knew I'd get something for free for listening to this, though. So that's solid. Okay, so this is like, I think Gen 4 is when they changed it to Poison hurts you outside of battle, but it can't KO your Pokemon. I think that's what, I think Gen 4. And then for Gen 5, they just got rid of it completely. Nice little flower field. Hello. It's so hard to get around these days. I wish they'd put in some roads. Yeah, I'm with you on that. If I had a car, Pokemon Adventuring would be very did it. How do you get 50 Pikachu on a bus, you Pokemon? Haha, -ha, get it. Wow, never heard that one before, old man. Appreciate listening to that. I just walked into somebody's empty house, and hopefully they don't have security cameras, because otherwise I'm getting arrested as a teenager for breaking and entering. 
She's talking about kids already. Why can't we raise some Pokemon instead? Huh. Just moved to this town. It's small, but homey. I think it'll be a good place to raise a family someday. Can we just get Pokemon? <laughs> that, that woman married Ash Ketchum. Hey, did you know that if you talk to people multiple times, sometimes they will say different things? Yeah, just like that. Good work. Ow. Didn't know that. All right. Okay, you walked in here, which means that you need a bike repaired. Oh, you don't have one? Well, it figures. I haven't gotten many customers of late now that I've already sold everyone in Kevlar Town a bike. Actually, if you're bringing me a bike wheel, I can fix an old bicycle and give it to you. Okay, so that's how we get the bike, is we find a bike wheel somewhere. Hmm. All right, yeah, people do say different things if you talk to them more than once. Okay, I do want to go back and check out, like, the other, like, path that we didn't take. Just because I'm a curious boy. Mmm, Burberry. Chin monk. I really don't feel like fighting you. Uh, yeah. I started to go down this way, but it seemed like the other way was the only workable path, so I'm wondering where this leads. Morris! Okay, it is a dead end. Okay, I thought it might be. Wish I'd gotten down there first and then backtracked instead of backtracking all of this way. <laughs> da -da. On the road again, running back to the bulletproof town. I wonder what type of Pokemon that first gym leader has. And if the town has anything to do with Noctowl, because it's called like Noctow... Noctow City or something like that? Very closely related to... To Noctowl, at least. <laughs> Alright, where's the Pokemart? That Mari, he's always crying to people to get them to do something for him, and he wonders why he doesn't have any friends. Okay. Leave me alone. Okay, this is not somebody whose dialogue changes the more you talk to him. Hello! I'd like some more potions, please. Having several would be helpful, but I also need some Pokeballs. I don't have the luxury of repels right now, unfortunately. Ice heal? That's a random thing. Yeah, I don't need to... I'm gonna save money. Save that money! I don't know how that song goes. I just know, like... I don't really listen to rap. <laughs> I think... Oh, I know. Save That Money's by Lil Dicky, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's right. I mean, he's, he's a rapper. <laughs> But my my favorite rap is uh, by the guy uh, who's not a rapper, Super Hot Fire. Do wop, dibba dub, bibbidi bop. Oh! <laughs> if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you are missing out on one of the greatest viral videos of all time. The Berry Shop. Take a free sample of Tandor's most delicious berries. Oh, thank you for the Baku berry. I have no idea what that berry does. I don't know what that berry does either. Are any of these real berries or are these like... A, uh, that's a real berry. Um, What do you do? My girlfriend is mad at me, so I'm buying her flowers to get her to forgive me. <laughs> that's funny. Um, let's check out what these berries do. Maybe used to recover from paralysis, sleep, burn. Okay, so they're like the normal berries. But they're not normal berries. Why did they redo them? I didn't quit doing that, Mikey. All right, well, I guess we're... Let's move on. 
I heard Ow Ten Nest is in this area. There's gotta have Ow Ten. That's an animal. That's a Pokemon. I mean, do Liddy. Amber, you will remember. Great song from the old Danny Phantom. I wasn't allowed to watch Danny Phantom as a kid, but I still loved it. And so I would sometimes like watch it like sneakily. And I also learned all the words to the theme song. Yo, Danny Fenton, he was just 14 when his parents built a very strange machine that was designed to view a world unseen. He's gotta catch them all because he's Danny Phantom. Didn't quite work. His folks, they just quit. Then Danny uh -huh. took a look inside of it. It was a great big flash. Everything just changed. His molecules got all rearranged. Phantom, Phantom. When he first woke up, he realized he had snow white hair and glowing green eyes. He could walk through walls, disappear, and fly. He was much more unique than the other guy. It was then Denny knew what he had to do. He had to stop all the ghosts that were coming through. He's here to fight for me and you. He's gonna catch them all because he's Denny Phantom. Gonna catch them all because he's Denny Phantom. Gonna catch them all because he's Denny Phantom. <laughs> Viewer retention just nosedives at this point in the video. <laughs> All right, let's move on to this route. I should check out what wild Pokemon are in the in the grass, though. Whoa. What was this? Old entrance to Now Talk City. Old entrance? All right, well, let's see what Pokemon are in the grass. Hopefully just, not just more Chin Monks, because I can immediately tell those are going to suck. Splash water on my face. <laughs> Alright, we'll do three more encounters here. And hopefully see something mildly interesting. Another Cubbug. 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 It sounds like humbug. It is a it is a great disservice to society that Cricketot's name is not humbug. All right, looks like the same basic Route 1 Pokemon. So we all, we gonna head out of here. Uh-oh. Hikers are good against fire types. Oh, it's a Mankey. Oh, that's right. Wait, that's the first regular Pokemon we've seen. Celebrate that time, come on. I can't believe we already found one. Oh, that was nice of it. We're not gonna take any damage. Sweet. Muy bien, gracias. Barul? Whoa, did you hear that noise? That sounded like a little kid like burping or something that was adorable what type is this thing does rock resist fire it looks like it might be a rock type but i can't be sure uh -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> that's adorable i want one it's like you're tough all right you're pretty good. Trade Pokemon numbers with me and I'll call you whenever I find a rare Pokemon. Alright, that seems like a better reason. Let me... I can look at the Pokedex to see their typings. Right? Oh man, it only shows types if I caught them. Oh man, that's awesome. Area... Where am I? Oh wait, I think I, they're probably around here, right? I can definitely catch one. I'll definitely catch one. Potion! I love that cry. That's my new favorite cry in any Pokemon game ever. Well, we found Zubat. <laughs> Tonami? If it lives in Ember, we'll catch it. 
Oh, it crit. It's fine. We're fine. Okay. I feel like this might be the actual way we're supposed to go, so I want to check out what's up here. Rock Smash, okay. What does this say? In the event of a roadblock, now Talk City may be reached through Passage Cave. Okay. Alright, so this is where we're supposed to go. Oh, we found one! Maru! The cute little... And I, honestly, his ears kind of look like a Reddit, like, snoo thing. Okay, he's got to be a rock type. All right, we're going to throw a Pokeball. And hope we don't have to weaken this thing, because I don't know if a level 4 one would live in Ember. Oh, man! Stop hardening. All right, we're going to Ember this thing. I have no patience. If we KO it, it's fine. We'll find a different one. I have a feeling they're common. It did live! Okay, there's no way this doesn't catch. Oops. Booyah! Alright, time to learn about this thing. Steel Rock! No wonder Ember Hut was neutral damage. Incredibly dense metals make up Barul's body. They are much heavier than they look. They live in dark caves and feed on rocks and metal ore. Okay, okay, we'll keep you around, little boy. Definitely need something to deal with ground types soon, though, because this means two, two Pokemon. I mean, I have the flying, I have the little bird, but I don't really want to train up the regional bird. What are we gonna name you? We're gonna name you Snoo, because it looks like his little ears kind of look like the Reddit Snoo, and that's, Snoo is cute. It's objectively adorable. I keep forgetting that the run button, gosh dang it, stop that! Okay, we'll catch this thing. If it lives in Ember. Last time it KO'd a one that was two levels lower, and a crit. Okay, poison gas. All right, well, we're going back anyways. It's fine. This thing's totally poison flying. Uh, bag? Uh, poke a ball. All right, Tonami. Don't be a jerk. Just get, stay in the balls. Yes. Booyah! Booyah! Yas! Poison ball. Oh, it's not flying. Newbie trainers traveling through caves are advised to bring along antidotes against the Tonami's poison, which causes great pain if it isn't treated. Uh, okay, we're not gonna use this thing. Any things that are good against ground types? Not more things that are weak to it. Freaking poison. But I do want to see how this, uh, how Snoo does. What does it know? Does it know anything other than Harden? Because if so, that's gonna get annoying. <laughs> uh, Pokemon. And it was Tackle. Lovely. Well, we'll do some switch training. Flash. Oh, can I use that in the cave? I can see pretty well, though. I didn't realize the bird knew, uh, knew Flash. Well, all right, let's, let's see what that does. Ah, crud. Barely anything. <laughs> oh! It's another man! It's a manny! <laughs> Alright, he's got his own barul. 
I love how fast it falls. This thing is adorable, though. I hope it's good. Go blue! Rah! Oh, no, 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 no. That's, that's no bueno. No, not accuracy. Come on. All right, it's fine. I have plenty of potions. Could probably KO this thing with two embers. Yeah. There we go. Alright, listen, I'd cry all day. Okay, no, I couldn't. That would get super annoying. Alright, we're gonna switch Snoo back in, get more experience and our accuracy back. Look at me, pro league strats here in the Pokemon Uranium playthrough, everybody. Learn from the master and do as I do. Doesn't matter if you get harder, little Barul, because my fire burns through your physical defense. Dang it, so close. Oh, I have flame body? What? <laughs> I didn't even, I actually didn't know that. I never actually looked at, I need to look at the, I saw that Barul had Rockhead. I did not know Snoo, or I did not know Blue had a, uh... that's actually kind of hilarious that I didn't notice that. Uh, should probably look at everybody's abilities. Oh, we probably also should wrap up the episode soon. Modest nature. Ooh, I really hope your base special attack is your better one, because if so, that's awesome. Docile. Oh, this is not where the... Flame body. Rockhead. Big pex. And levitate. Oh! Well, that thing might actually be worth. What do you know? Poison gas and tackle. Gust and flash. I already know what you know. Tag my heart. Okay, guys. Well, I think this is where we should wrap up the episode. Um, I might do a little bit of looking into our little creatures here, see which ones are worthy of leveling up and which ones I shouldn't waste my time with. Um, but I will do my best. Well, I don't know how I'm going to do that without seeing what their evolved forms look like, but I also don't want to like spend a bunch of time leveling up Pokemon that suck, you know? So... We'll see. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like. Make sure you answer the comment question. Make sure you sign up for the Elgato giveaway. And that is all I have for now. So until next time, Pokemon fans, gotta catch them all.